Hey guys, thanks so much for stopping by. Today I will be doing another book review, and this is entitled Always In My Heart by Katherine Anderson. So, welcome. And usually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna provide you information from Goodreads, and then I'm gonna give you my full review on that. So this is written by Katherine Anderson. This is rated 4.01 out of five stars. And um, it says, two years ago, Ellie Grant would have fallen apart at any reminder of her ex-husband, Tucker, but now she doesn't bat an eye when their song comes on the radio. She's unfazed by the thought of Tucker's perky new girlfriend. Ellie Grant is over him, and things are better for Tucker as well. The single life agrees with him, and certainly they've both done a good job of being civil to each other for the kids' sake. But the kids aren't buying it. Zach and Cody are convinced that deep down their parents are still meant to be together, up to their elbows in scheming and dreaming. The brothers had to plan. They run away from home into Oregon wilderness and stay there until their parents agree to get back together. Surely Ellie and Tucker will come to the rescue and to their senses that the games begin and the sparks fly. This was um, first published back in August 1st, 2002. I didn't even know this was a 20 year old book. Um, and so, let's see. This is the genre sponsors, romance, contemporary romance, contemporary family, drama, marriage, Western romance, chiclet, children's MF romance. Okay, um, as, I don't know, just, I think it's just the cover of Katherine Anderson books. There's always something about it that's like, it doesn't really draw me in. It's like, it's one of those books that I always put off because of the cover. And I just don't know what it is. Um, but then when I start to read it, I have like a love-hate relationship. And this is in every single Katherine Anderson book. Every single one. And if you have watched my other reviews in her books, I always enjoy them. But I always like have a love-hate relationship, especially in the beginning or even to start to do it. So this was um, very, very different for me for uh, from from Katherine Anderson. So there's gonna be there's gonna be some spoilers. So if you don't want any spoilers, uh, maybe this won't be a video for you. So for this one, it was kind of like one of those situations where. I don't know, like, um, it's very rom-com-ish kind of, um, um, story, and it was actually, like, initially, I was like, this is a bit off, because usually her books that I've read have a different kind of pace to them and have a different kind of formulation. This was just very, very different, so I wasn't expecting it. Did I, did I enjoy it? Yes. I did really enjoy it. It was like, it was, it's one of those stories that make you laugh really hard. There were a ton of moments that were just like really, 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 really funny. This, like I said, it's a very, it's a, it's a really fun rom-com. The thing with rom-coms is, is that if it's way too cheesy and not too, not like really, really funny for me, I usually don't like that. Like I'm not usually the first person to jump on a rom-com. I have to be in a really great mood or in a specific mood. I, I take that back, not in a really great mood. What I meant was really, really in a type of mood, not great mood in general, but like in a type of mood that I'd be wanting to watch a rom-com, if that makes any sense. And so reading this, I wasn't really sure it was going to be like that because I've had this book for a while, maybe a year or so, not, not, that, not as long as when this was published, but, um, I just, I just never was drawn to it, like typically like every other Katherine Anderson book. And then I thought, why not? You know, like I haven't really read a Katherine Anderson book in a while, so I did. And yes, this is, this is very, it's very, very fun. It starts off kind of like crickets in a way, um, but it picks up really quickly. And um, it's really, like, it's really, really funny. So I really enjoyed it. Um, I would give this a four out of five stars, a two thumbs up. It still makes me smile because I'm remembering certain certain scenes um, that have been interacted and I was just like laughing really, really hard. There's just, there's certain ones, like there's just certain stuff here that was just laughing so hard. Katherine Anderson always knows how to write great characters and that's why it's always so much fun to read her stories. And I love the fact that even if the story usually is kind of dark and dramatic, there she always knows how to put in humor and how to, to 
to just, I don't know. She, she just, she's just a good writer. She's just a really, really good writer. So I totally enjoyed it. Um, this is, if you've read most of her books and you've never read this one, just so you know, it, it's, it's different, but it's still really, really great. So, um, if there are other books that you guys believe I'll enjoy, because I do have, I do have a little bit of, uh, um, some book reviews already. And I am, I do have a ton of romance based books. However, I am trying to acquire and expand my uh, collection in regards to psychological thrillers, suspense, mystery thrillers, mystery and thriller, those kind of genres. If you have um, suggestions on those that I haven't read yet or I haven't made a review yet and you, you know, let me know down in the comment section below. Also, please, I really, really hope that you would connect with me with Goodreads and also double check everything on my description section because I always provide all my social media accounts, including my Goodreads account, and um, where you can get the book and anything else that I can find you guys for in regards to like discounts or coupons that I've noticed and I've seen or been approached to or getting or getting some discounts, I will put it down below so you guys can enjoy the discount as well. Thank you everyone for the love and support and all of the beautiful, wonderful words. You have no idea how how wonderful they make me feel, especially currently in my current situation. If um, you are in some of my Facebook groups, you might already know that I'm not in a great place. So, you know, when you guys are, are supportive and being really, really beautiful, wonderful people, they mean so much. So thank you. I appreciate you. Thank you for everything. And I'll see you again next time. Bye.